Well, 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 here we are at day eight. I've got spirit fingers, super, super excited. We're gonna start another week. So let's dive in and see what amazing color we're gonna pull out of this diamine calendar today. Raspberry Rose looks like it could be a cross between a purplish pink. Um, this is a standard ink, so we don't have any shimmer or sheen. Um, I'm just mesmerized by the ink in the bottle, so let's just go ahead and grab our swatch cards and swatch this color out. So let's see what we've got. Go ahead and zoom in here. It looks like almost like a wine colored you know, reddish, purplish, pink. It's actually quite beautiful. Maybe a burgundy. Let's just add a little bit of extra there, just in case maybe we'll have some magical sheening, you never know. And let's try it in the dip pen. Whoa, I, I don't know, it's like pooling. I think I got way too much ink on my dip pen. That's weird because <laughs> a couple of the other inks, um, I've done that too and it hasn't really dripped off. Let me try and tap some off there. Oh well, it'll just be thicker lines. So imagine if it was like a medium nib versus this kind of fine one. So all in all, well, that's pretty. Let's grab our Nemesine pad here and we'll swatch it out. It swatches beautiful, almost kind of looks like blood <laughs> in a creepy little way. Okay, maybe not as red. Um, so we'll do our Rhodia here. And again, it pulls beautifully. Look at this, we're on brand new pages. This is exciting. It kind of pools up there. I'm interested to see how this one dries. Now we'll go ahead and put it into our Hobonichi here for day eight. Whoops, I don't, again, how am I getting so much ink on my nib? I haven't had this problem with any of the other inks. So maybe this is just like a really wet ink because that can do that. So we'll go ahead and swatch this out here. I really like this color. I think it would be pretty in a pen to write with for the holidays, kind of like that burgundy color. So we'll see how it dries. All right, well, it is a beautiful wine color. Um, I'm really liking this actually um, in the pen. That would be a beautiful color to write with on the daily. Here it is in our Nemesine. Um, the darker pool, of course, is a little darker. There's a hint of maybe sheening there, but a beautiful shade. Now, I definitely see a little bit of the sheening here, just, just a tiny hint right there along the edges, but I also, I also put a lot of ink on there. And then there's the backside. I'm surprised uh, how much there's... Um, no bleed through there. And then look at how weird it is on the Hobonichi. It's like matted looking. I don't know, or muted maybe. Um, here's the backside of that and it did come through a little bit, but that's kind of strange that that's how it turned out because look how dark it is on the other swatch cards. I would have thought that it would have dried darker um, on the Hobonichi, but all in all, I mean, the color's good. So we've got our mini journal for today, and then let's check out the chromatography. So here we go, definitely lots of reds, and then that purplish blue there at the top, which makes for that luscious wine color. All right, we're gonna open up our journal. Here was yesterday's sunny portal, and then we'll change the page, add some washi, speed up the video, add some music, you know the drill by now, and then I will check back with you at the end. So please enjoy the video.
I'm just finishing up adding a little bit of highlighting to our wonky moon with some white ink. And if you are looking for the supplies that I use today, you can find all of those listed down in the description box below. We'll go ahead and give this a good dry. And while it's drying, it's a great time to remind you to go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for all the likes and the comments. I love reading all of your comments and getting back to you. It has made my heart so happy to know that I'm not just journeying this ink journey by myself. It's always more fun with lots of people. So here we are just going to pull off the tape from around the edges as we do every day. And then we will take a little peek here at our finished product. It's interesting how it looks more purpley, the ink inside the water. Oops, I made a little mess there, but um, like when you hold it up, it's a little bit more purpley in there, but I liked how the color mixed with the white ink at the bottom to make the trees look a little bit more um, snowy. So that was kind of fun. Thanks again, guys, for hanging out with me. We finished yet one more day in our ink vent journey, and I'm looking forward to seeing what color we're going to play with tomorrow. So until next time, happy creating.